Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog. Today you join me, I'm in the beautiful county of Clare and I'm in a place called Doolan and I decided that I'd bring somebody back who you haven't seen for a long, long time. You might get an idea there just over my shoulder who I'm with and what I'm doing, but here he is. Ta-da! Hey guys, how are you? Great to be back on the uh, YouTube journey. So to see, this, this is a real camera, this is a real vlogger's camera. You know, I wouldn't be dealing with these small little uh, micro sensor cameras. What are we doing today? So today, I'm glad you asked, Darren. Okay, so today we're going to do a YouTube video. We're going to go on one of these things. It's called a jet ski, all right? It's a Sea-Doo GTX 230. So plenty of power, loads of comfort, and we're going to go the whole way, Cliffs of Moher, the whole way out to Hag's Head. We're going to go in around the caves. We're going to see the singular sea stack and a bit of wildlife. Just a general YouTube journey, really, to be honest. And we're going to have loads of fun. And if sea conditions are right, we might head to Iron Islands for a bit of dinner. How's that sound? Sound good? Yeah, sounds good to me. So yeah, that's our adventure for today. Looking forward to it actually. Looking forward to hanging out with this lunatic. It's been a while since I've actually been out with him, but hopefully I don't fall off the back of that too many times anyway, because <laughs> yeah, I'm going pillion passenger with Dad today. So that's our adventure, that's our journey. Let's go. I'm out in the water now here with Dermot, and as you can see behind me here, you have the coast of Ireland along the Cliffs of Moher, and that's our destination for today. We're gonna to go to Cliffs of Moher, we're gonna to go to Hag's Head, and we're gonna have a look at it from the water Water level, which is something I've never done before and I'm really excited actually to see what it looks like so we'll get some footage along the way anyway hopefully if Dermot doesn't drive too crazy and uh, yeah we'll show you what it looks like as well once we reach the cliff some more we're gonna be passing as well a very interesting waterfall along the way too and I'll show you that too along the way Have fun, Dad? Yeah, man! <laughs> giant wave coming in and about to actually cover us that's the thing about the wild atlantic way it is wild it is the atlantic and it has some huge waves where we are at the moment here is just by the base of the cliffs of moor and there's a wave there it's called aileen's wave or eileen's wave very very popular among surfers and you can see the reasons why so we just had to <laughs> hightail it there quite quickly to avoid being swamped by that giant wave that was there but there's some incredible curves as well uh, in these waves and I think it's be a great place if I was surfing to come dangerous but for sure incredible where else would you get somewhere like this and with scenes like that and being able to surf right up as far as it what you see here in the distance if you can probably make it out is the singular sea stack at the cliff some more and right on top of that as well is the O'Brien's tower so yeah so far so good we're still alive we haven't died yet but another big one now coming in here, I'll show it to you. Stay here so you can get it. Nah, sugar. Go. So yeah, let's check back in again in a moment. Darren. Hello. Welcome Hi. to Ireland's Atlantic Adventures. <laughs> the cart fella is on the ship today. And he brought his own translator. He's <laughs> called the Dolphin. <laughs> Where we are now is right at the base of the Cliffs of Moher, so uh, to the right hand side is the stack and over here actually, as I showed you, is a pathway called the Goat's Path and this guy is known for going down this path to get some photographs of the impressive Cliffs of Moher right from the water's edge. It's in really, really tall cliffs, I've never been down this low and yeah, my god, it is impressive. It is large and I can see, you know, 
the vastness and the size of it. It's quite dangerous as well because I don't know if you can make it out or not, but right at the top of this up here, you can just make out some shapes of people, and that's so close to the edge that people will get. Uh, every so often, unfortunately, somebody falls, so it has been a place where it's claimed a number of people's lives over the years. It's a big tourist destination in Ireland, so you can imagine why they'd come here, but people don't really exercise safety as much as they should. But yeah, incredible to be out here in the water and some beautiful waves as well. It's quite, quite calm actually, as you can see from where we are and right over my shoulder there. If I clean this, maybe it's a bit blurred. And right over my shoulder there is the Stingler Stack at the Cliffs of Moor as well. So yeah, incredible, incredible journey so far. I'm gonna head along now the coast as well here and uh, avoid the large waves, but definitely enjoy the scenery. <laughs> definitely avoid the wall, that. to the Cliffs of Moher now. As you can see, the sea stack is literally right above us. And man, what a freaking sight. Darren is having so much excitement here. Unreal. He's screaming. But uh, it's definitely something to be seen if you can get out here. Um, I'm absolutely mesmerized. I've been here a hundred times before and every time I come here, I'm still in awe of it, really, to be totally honest. But um, yeah, it's absolutely amazing. So Darren, we're going to hit the cave soon enough. Are you excited? Yeah, boy! Bring it on! <laughs> I'm sorry, I apologize for him, he's from Cork. That explains everything. Let's go on. Woo! Woo! So we're still here now at the base of the Cliffs of Moor and it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, Dermot actually has his camera with him so he's going to take some shots and hopefully he'll give me one or two photographs that I can show so you can see the beauty of what it actually is looking like. And at the moment now as well as you can see here he's flying his drone. So braver than me I swear that I'll never ever 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 ever, did I say ever, ever fly and catch a drone from the water again after my mishap actually almost a year ago with a buddy of mine off the old Hedekin sail. But Dermot now has the drone flying uh, around the Cliffs of Moor stack as well and hopefully again he'll give me some footage that I can show you as well on that. Dermot actually, since he stopped vlogging on, la on, an, on the land point of view, he moved to the water. So he set up his own channel now with his good buddy Ken, which is called Ireland's Atlantic Adventures. And if you haven't seen it already, I'll link to it actually up here. Go check it out because you'll get a real good taste of what it's like on the water, on the wild Atlantic way, on the coast of Ireland. So yeah, hopefully now we'll continue on down to the next point. Actually, one point here, as you can see, look how calm the water is around me. It's incredible. And, you know, it can go from calm, like this, where you see a sail, sailboat there in the distance, and then it can get some really, really large waves as well that will come in, and they'll almost think as if they're going to topple on top of us. But yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful afternoon here, and I'm loving it so far. Looking forward now to seeing the rest of the coast.
brave man brave man behind me here you have hag's head and you can see this beautiful arch as well that's there the water is very very rough around here and there's some incredible waves as well that are crashing right behind me wouldn't like to get caught up in one of them because i think you know it'll probably be curtains but it's uh stunning stunning to be able to be out here and we're getting great light as well now that's coming in behind as you can see here um, so yeah what a spot what a trip check back in again in a moment here that water was absolutely beautiful uh, great trip you know I'm gonna go and get some grub now hopefully if we can find a place to tie up the pony and uh, we can go in and get some food here in the Iron Islands but yeah that water is absolutely crystal clear look at that you could be in the Bahamas looking at this insane so we've decided to park the ski onto some guy's boat we'll go buy a bit of grub hopefully he doesn't come back and <laughs> leave our ski or else we're goosed. Yeah, we're goosed. Oh, that was a fine feed there now that we had on the Aran Islands in ashore. And now we're going back to jump back onto the jet ski again and go back to the mainland. So yeah, hopefully we get back in one piece. And the lovely lunch that I had doesn't end up all over the back of the airmate if he hasn't calmed down and is, and is flying, not driving, flying. So yeah, talk to you again in a minute. All right, so we're heading away from the Aran Islands. We had a bit of grub. It's absolutely amazing. And what we're going to do now, we're going to head to the mainland in sports mode. You ready for this? Made it back from the Iron Islands in one piece, and I must say it was an incredible adventure, incredible uh, journey across the Atlantic. Some huge waves as well, but we handled it well, and we got back, like I say, safe and sound. So, uh, like I said earlier on, actually, if you haven't subscribed to Dearman's new channel, it's Ireland's Atlantic Adventures. I've already left the link up here, but I'll put a, an end card as well at the end of the video. Go, go back over and say hi to him and tell him you missed him. And um, yeah, from the beautiful Doolan in County Clare, thank you very much for joining this episode. Hope you've enjoyed coming along the journey. If it's your first time on the channel, please hit the subscribe button, give me a like, give me a comment, and until the next time, stop the fall. Thank you.